We're talking about fatherhood today as a archetype of the sacred masculine. This is my father, George Fox, to whom I'm deeply grateful for much. And um, I remember a workshop I did at CIAS on the sacred masculine. And when we began the day, it was for both men and women. One woman spoke up and she said, my father was so wonderful that uh, I'm here today to find out why other men aren't as wonderful as my father. I have trouble finding wonderful men because my father was so special. Another woman spoke up and she said, well, I'm here because I've had such negative experiences uh, with men. And I'm here to find out why men aren't more in touch with their deeper selves. But um, there's a teaching from Mason, whom I cite in, um, in my essay here. He says this, he's never spoken to a father of grown children did not wish he had spent more time with his children when they were growing, when they were young. If he could change one thing, it would be that one thing. So the whole idea that we, the children yearn for their fathers, and that fathers may underestimate how uh, deeply they are needed and wanted. And as he says, the children need from us warmth, comfort, protection, food, cleaning, shelter, clothing, 